five years in the army and some considerable experience of the world had by now dispelled any of those romantic notions regarding love with which Barry commenced life. And he began to have it in mind, as so many gentlemen had done before him, to marry a woman of fortune and condition. And as such things so often happen, these thoughts closely coincided with his setting first sight upon a lady who will henceforth play a considerable part in the drama of his life. The Countess of Lyndon, Viscountess Bullingdon of England, Baroness Castle Lyndon of the Kingdom of Ireland, a woman of vast wealth and great beauty. She was the wife of the Right Honourable Sir Charles Reginald Lyndon, Knight of the Bath, and minister to George III at several of the smaller courts of Europe. A cripple wheeled about in a chair, worn out by gout and a myriad of diseases. Her ladyship's chaplain, Mr. Runt, acted in the capacity of tutor to her son, the little Viscount Bullingdon, a melancholy little boy, much attached to his mother.
To make a long story short, six hours after they met, her ladyship was in love. And once Barry got into her company, he found innumerable occasions to improve his intimacy and was scarcely out of her ladyship's sight.